Our co-founder Carl Sagan once said, when you're in love, you want to tell the world. This is my space love story. This is my space love story. This is my space love story. I fell in love with space at a very young age. I first got excited about space when I saw the moon through a telescope. I have always been in love with space. For as long as I can remember, I've always been in love with nature. It was an old telescope made of cardboard. I remember the smell. My love of nature is what inspired my love of space. I told my parents, I'm gonna read every book about space in our local library. I came across this big, beautiful, illustrated coffee table book called Cosmos. I even, you know, like Carl Sagan, published my own book. I, I was, uh, I think, in second grade. There's my floater hanging out there when uh, they went to Jupiter. I go off to college as a biology major, but halfway through, my parallel interest in theater captures me, and I'm cast on a Star Trek series. I fell in love with space. The first moment I stepped foot onto the set of Gene Rottenberry's vision for Star Trek. And I caught my love of space from them. This is when I realized what humanity's future could look like. It occurred to me to wonder, can I do geology in space? And it turns out you can, so I went to graduate school to do that. I looked up at the moon and realized there are humans up there on the moon. I flew to space on STS-122, February 2008, on Space Shuttle Atlantis, and we're breaking bread with African-American, Asian-American, French, German, Russian, the first female commander. And it was just all so cool. And we look back at the planet and see these blues and these greens, azure, indigo, all these colors. From that age, I never let go of this desire to look out beyond Earth to discover brand new things. When images started coming back from the Viking spacecraft at Mars, and then the Voyagers at Jupiter. And our planet is so beautiful, but it was space that let me see that, and I fell in love with space because of the way it made me appreciate our planet and our civilization. I discovered all of the amazing space pictures that are returned by all these missions and I realized that what I wanted to do was to tell people about all of these amazing photos. And that's what I do for the Planetary Society today. The Planetary Society was the perfect way to enable the great scientists of the world and the people of the world to participate in this grand endeavor of exploration. The Planetary Society inspires the same kind of passion in other people. We help people fall in love with space. The Planetary Society understands that vision for a better future all together. I hope you'll join us and together we can change the worlds.